Good morning, Save the Victor. Well, how's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. Here I am, your older than average 53 year old YouTuber who likes to play with makeup, um, colorful makeup, and likes to use a mix of natural and a studio light just so I can show you what makeup really looks like on aging skin. So today we are going to be playing with the Violet Sage palette from Ace Beauté. I've had this one for a little bit. I did do one look with it, I think maybe on my Instagram, but I was in the midst of doing some other stuff and I thought now I've got some time to finally play with this. So I've got all my base on, so we're just going to do eyes and then I thought, well, let's break out my Ace Beauté Glow Highlighter Palette and we will put on some highlighter as well. So if that's what you are interested in, you're in the right place and you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. Thought, why don't we do the highlighter first and then we'll go on to the eyes. So it has these six beautiful shades here. I've got a pink blush on so I think we are going to go with the shade Radiant which is that pink shade in there. I'm going to use one of my favorite brushes and then let's go. Oh the one popping is really nice too. It has a pink uh, tilt pink shift to it as well but we decided this one so let's do that so quickly get a little bling before we do the blush I have on is a little bit uh, shiny too so I just have this nice little bit of shimmer here there we go so I just thought since we're doing Ace Beauté might as well play with that so I've already primed my eyes Doot, 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 doot. and I'm ready to go. So this is the palette here. It has a mirror and then it is this beautiful color story here. It was sold out on the website so I got it through Poshmark. I think somebody either got it in um, like an Ipsy bag or something or they just got a duplicate. But whatever, I'm really happy to get this. This color story is very pretty. I think it's more of a spring color story but greens in it and pinks and purples. It's awesome. So I think we, what did I play with before? I think I played with um, some green and purple, but I think I want to do purple and pink. So we're going to go with hydrangea, which is that darkest purple. And then we are going to put that into the outer part of our eye. And let's hope we don't spill onto my makeup. It's a teeny bit of kick up in the pan, but not a lot, so that's good. And then let's just go a nice dark purple outside. My cat is tip tip tapping around, so that's there. I'm just going to start, we'll bring it up a little bit more after, but I thought what I can do just to start is just darken the outer edge fluffy brush just to start placing some color the lighting is a teeny bit harsh it is really early here and um, even though I have some natural light coming in it isn't a lot so I turned the dining room light on as well just to put a little bit more light on this side But it's getting brighter as I'm going along here. So uh, there we go. So we just place a little color. I'm just going to clean off the brush and then we will go and blend. I'm going to try not to make this too long of a video. Just a nice simple eye look just to test out these colors. Like I said, I did a quick simple look for myself. And then this is the new formula. That was the other reason why I wanted it. I like the color story and that it was a new formula. I have a palette with the old formula. I was going to do a comparison, but I might save that for another time. But there we go. So just a little bit. And then I'm going to take a smaller flat brush and then I'm going to go along the bottom lash line a little bit. It already kind of dragged some down, but that was okay. And I have a little scar here, so sometimes it's hard to get color to stick, but we try. 
There we go. So we've got the purple laid down. And then I think I'm going to build up a little bit on this side. And this side is one side that, hold on, I need to match it up a bit more. There we go. So there we go, just to make it a little bit darker. And then I'm going to use that other brush again. I'm just going to do what it looks like. Oh, maybe, hold on. Giving myself a little bit of a pull up, so then I will do the same on the other side here. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks good. All right, so then we are going to go into the shade Violet, which is the next shade of purple. And I'm going to use the flat brush again. I've just cleaned it off. And then we're going to do that for the middle part of the lid. Same on the other side. Yeah, these are some really pretty purples and they're nice and different. Now the light is making it look a little patchy, but it isn't. So we just need to fill in a little bit. There we go. And then for the last matte shade, we are going to go into the pink shade called Begonia. And again, I'm going to use the same brush. Like I said, we're being easy and simple today. Just want to see what we think of this palette. I know the greens are lovely. If I remember, I'll insert a photo up if I can find one maybe. I can't remember if I just, if I saved it or if I just popped it on Instagram and deleted it off my phone. This is definitely a super light pink. But we're going to be putting a shimmer on top, so that is okay. Great. Right now I'm going to quickly go and build up all the colors that I did before. So a little bit of the dark shade, which was hydrangea. Did you notice I could actually read the colors off here pretty good without totally scrunching my eyes. And then the next one, violet. And back into begonia. Maybe I should have used starflower, but here we are. Our flower was kind of like a pinky brown. Well, at least it looks like in the pan. Or is it more of a purple? Yeah, no, it's got like a reddish, pinkish tone. All right. So then for underneath, I'm going to go back. You know what? I'm going to put some green underneath. Why not? So I'm going to go into Juniper. So that is the darker shade, and I'm going to do that in the middle. Blend that lightly into the purple. Like that. And then I'm going to go into the lighter shade, which is called the Sage. And that way we've used the purples and the pinks and a little bit of the green. There we go. Just for a little bit something different on the bottom. And it ties in my sweatshirt a little bit too. There we go. All right, so now let's try a shimmer. So we've got two here. Here's the lighter one that's called Anemone, and then we've got Wisteria. This other one here, this one has more of a bronzy kind of tinge, bronzy pink tinge. Let's go with Wisteria, the slightly darker one, and let's see. I forgot to grab some spray, but I think these are definitely old school shimmers anyway, so it wouldn't change too much, I don't think. So 
let's go and pop that on there. And there's nothing wrong with old school shimmers. Not every shimmer needs to be seen from space or be crazy. That's not the average makeup wearer. Just because my makeup friends and I like super blingy a lot of the time and a lot of color doesn't mean that everybody else does. I'm going to put some on my finger. Oh yeah, there we go. I think it's the warmth of the finger versus the, you know, just the, the, the brush that makes a huge difference. I think so. We don't have a purple shimmer, so I am going to do that one called Cosmos there. I'm just going to pop a teeny bit on that purple and see if it does anything. And I'm just going to use my finger right away. If I can just give the purple a little bit of shine. Oh yeah, there we go. And that's cute. Just simple. I have to take my cat to a vet appointment today. She's getting a scan for her heart. So I don't think I want to go too crazy. And then I think what I can do then for the inner corner, let's use that other pink, that anemone, anemone? Yeah. And then and let's really swirl in there. Oh, that's really pretty. And then that. Yeah, I think the only thing that I miss, I think would have been nice if it would there, because there's two pink shimmers, if they would have changed one of them to purple, and then maybe changed out this one called, this one here, and put in a green shimmer. And I think this would have been like, almost my perfect um, palette. I think it would have been a perfect like everyday palette. Oh, there we go, a little bit of, so there you go, you can see that it's got a little bit of shimmer there. All right, let's put on some mascara, a little lip, and then we are done. Like I said, something nice and simple. I'm going to put in some earrings, brush out my hair, and then we can have a quick chat. And then I just thought I have my... Um, from Rena Beauty. I've got this pretty pink lip. I have a hat with. Match what I was doing today. All right, so let me go finish my hair, put on some earrings, and then we can have a final chat. Hey, and we're back. On to some final thoughts on the Ace Beauté Violet Sage Palette. Let's have another look at this color story. So we use a little bit of green on the bottom. This is the main shimmer in pink, the two purples. And then we did put a little bit of that on top of the purple. So the only colors that we didn't use are these two here actually. So we gave all of them a little bit of a whirl. And I think it's really pretty. Um, the one thing I like about Ace Beauté, they do have some like brighter or more intense color stories, but they're definitely set up in a way that they're good for the everyday makeup wearer, um, not just for people who like bright colors or whatever, which a lot of indie brands are, but this is a very beautiful everyday palette for, um, I think most people. And it looks really pretty. Um, how many looks you're gonna get out of there, I mean, is pretty much you can do all pinks, all purples, an all green look, a, mi a mix of the colors. So you'll get a few different different looks out of here and it'd probably be good you could match it with other palettes. If you have other green palettes, if you need darkers or you want some shimmers. So, but it is a very cute palette. So if you like this color story and it's what you're into, I think it looks really good. and it, looks good even on my wrinkly eyelids i think so yeah so that is it if you liked my quick video please give us a like comment and subscribe or maybe even hit that notification bell so you'll know when i upload if not that's okay we can still be friends we can still play with some ace beauté and get ready together to go to the vet <laughs> anyways that's it for me as always 
uh, behave, make good choices, and we will talk to you soon. Okay.